banging a gourd apparently simulates the sound of rain, to the lungfish at least, and it responds with a distinctive call. By listening for the calls, the woman can work out where the lungfish is buried and so dig it up. Lungfish normally estivate for about eight months, but they can survive like that for up to four years. Eventually, though, it rains. It's a signal, and the lungfish breaks out of its mucus cocoon and heads for the water above. It has survived by consuming its own muscle tissue, but now it must eat. It can live in water as shallow as this, but as further rains fall, so the swamps will get deeper and the pickings richer. For the dinka, their fishing days are done, and it's back to their fields and herds. And the magnificent Sud wetlands soon stretch to the horizon once more. From one immensity to another, let's head west into America's mighty Rocky Mountains. It's late summer, and the high meadows above the tree line are still free from snow. This won't last, though, and for the yellow-bellied marmots, it's a period of furious activity. They overwinter here, but even when hibernating, there's a heating bill to be paid, and it's met by putting on extra weight. The much smaller pika, on the other hand, spends the winter awake. He's also busy eating while he's got a chance. But he's got another compelling need. To get him through the long winter months, healthy and alert, he collects grasses and builds himself a hay pile. He'll use it to line his nest, and it'll provide him with a winter larder. With the winter, a white cloak of snow descends. With howling gales and freezing temperatures, it's a wonder any plants remain alive. But the grasses, beneath their blanket of snow, will survive. The snowy layer acts as insulation, and so whatever the conditions above, the temperature at ground level doesn't fall below freezing. Just below ground is where the marmots do their hibernating. This one's heartbeat has dropped 98%, and its body temperature is only about 7 degrees. It does wake periodically and warms up rapidly. This takes a huge amount of energy. So why wake up if it's so costly? Well, some scientists believe it might be due to lack of sleep, that is, the special brain waves that sleep brings. Further down the mountain, on drier slopes with a lighter annual snowfall, some bighorn sheep scrape at the grass under the snow and browse on pine needles. Winter is gradually loosening its grip and the snows begin to melt away. As warm weather returns, the pika loses no time in collecting up food for next year's hay pile. <laughs> <laughs> 